Hey everybody, Dan here with Pain Free You. Today's topic is going to be the obstacle course of recovery. So I'll explain that in a minute or two. Just want to enjoy this stunning, beautiful day. Sky is blue, sun is out. You hear the birds, you hear the bugs. So peaceful. Been inside working all day. Today's group coaching day, so done with the first call, the one o'clock call. Got a couple hours before the uh, seven o'clock call. Breathe in the peace. Exhale the chaos and the noise. Breathe in the nature. Exhale the indoor living. All right. The obstacle course of recovery. And this concept came up during the group call. Um because one of the one of the group members was talking about their journey and how they were experiencing things and uh you know, they were sharing how you know sometimes on this recovery there's every once in a while a dip or a speed bump um and i made the comment i said who who said this journey was supposed to be smooth sailing like a you know a freshly paved highway who said it was supposed to be like that now we would all like that certainly you would all like to say oh i learned about tms and here I go, everything gets better, 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 until poof, pain's gone and never to be seen again. And that would be wonderful if that was that's what it was, but that's not really reality, is it? And if you're anywhere on this journey, you know that the journey is a lot more like this. Oh, I'm good, right? It's a lot more uh, ups and downs and obstacles along the way. You know, sometimes the obstacles are trying to remove all the negative things you've heard from the medical profession or the negative things you've read on, you know, Dr. Google or the, you know, illness Facebook groups that you've spent time in and all the horror stories you've read. Those are obstacles, overcoming them. Sometimes it's our belief in ourselves. Sometimes it's our belief that this actually applies to me. And, well, maybe it's physical, maybe it's not. And the lack of clarity, it's an obstacle. You know, sometimes we can be feeling good and then all of a sudden we get a blip and well, symptoms come back or they spike a little bit. And that's an obstacle because we have to figure out how to overcome that without losing our confidence or momentum and belief. Right. So there's many different obstacles and I'm sure you guys can, guys and gals can come up with a whole bunch of things that have been obstacles on the way. Sometimes it's just a naysaying, you know, person in your life, whether it be a, a spouse, a friend, a family member. A family member who's a doctor going, oh, you know, you should really look at this. Those are obstacles that you'll want to learn to overcome. And so it's not always smooth sailing on this journey. Very, very, very few people get on board, smooth sailing right to the end, and poof, everything's gone. You know, because everybody's got to go through this similar journey. And the journey has, you know, all sorts of obstacles. But if you view that as each obstacle is an opportunity to confirm and learn more and make more concrete your belief and your commitment and your capability, then the obstacle course looks a little bit more fun than it does scary or dangerous, right? So go in knowing it's not supposed to be smooth sailing and easy. Now, I'm not trying to say that to scare you. I'm trying to say that to encourage you that if you're hitting these speed bumps, falling into the dips, and, you know, getting knocked off course and going sideways down the wrong direction for a little while before you come back onto the main course, that's perfectly okay. Nobody said this was supposed to be a smooth sail on a perfectly freshly paved highway. Um, you're going to have to take some detours through some less well-paved roads to get there. You're going to have to climb over some obstacles. And sometimes we're the biggest obstacle of all. Our lack of belief in ourselves, lack of confidence in ourselves, our belief that we're 
able to do this process and teach our brain that we're actually okay. So, short message today. Nobody ever said this was supposed to be easy and smooth sailing until poof, everything's done. A joyous occasion the whole way. Expect the bumps and bruises along the way. But also expect that as long as you keep on getting back up, brushing yourself off, and continuing on, you're going to make it to the end of this obstacle course. Because the process is fairly well proven. Sarno's original message, there's nothing wrong with you, go live your life. And everything I do is really geared towards helping you see that and teach yourself that through a variety of different things that are my typical stuff. Um, that's what I try to do each and every day, give you this message of safety to make you feel better and better about yourself and where you are on this journey and your ability to resolve these symptoms or pains. And just know, it can be bumpy, but it's a glorious journey. And I'll tell you what, after being pain-free for more than 12 years, it doesn't matter how bumpy it is, how many obstacles you've got to overcome, the view from the top is fantastic. And whatever it takes to get you there, it's worth every little bit of trials and tribulations. It's worth every tear and every teeth gnashing and frustration. It's worth it. You're worth it. So commit to yourself to take these obstacles in stride. Know that they're all a part of the journey. They're a normal part of the journey. Everybody hits them. And even if you're seeing some of these success stories, trust me, everybody who's come to the finish line and gotten through has had to overcome all of the same obstacles or very similar obstacles. So don't despair. It's not just you. The journey has obstacles in it. Know that those are challenges to be overcome and not brick walls that you run face first into, right? If other people can do it, you can do it. How do I know that? Because we're all human. And we all have the same system and functionality of this brilliant brain and body. So I believe you can do this. Don't take the obstacles so seriously. Look at them as a challenge. If you fall as you get over the obstacle, pick yourself back up and keep moving. And try not to lose momentum because if you stop and convince yourself this is never going to work for me, then the obstacle has won instead of you. So as long as you keep on viewing the obstacles as an opportunity to learn something new, develop new skills, build your confidence, build your self-trust, you're going to make it. So, love you guys and gals. You're awesome. If you would like to be a participant in the group coaching program, it's an amazing group of people, um, give it a thought. Go to painfreeu.com forward slash join. Take a look at the details. Uh, it's a wonderful program, wonderful group of people, extremely supportive. Everybody's cheering each other on. And some of these folks are making what I be believe will be lifetime friendships. So come for the cure, stay for the community, or just come for the cure and then move on and go do your thing. In either case, you'll get some great guidance, clarity on what's going on, how to move forward, how to recover. And uh, you may just find you make some friends along the way and feel more understood and supported than you have at any other point during this journey. So the journey is a lot more fun when you're not doing it alone. Consider the group. Painfreeu.com forward slash join. Hope to see you in there. If not, just know you can get better just by following these daily free videos. Lots of people already have. As a matter of fact, many of my video interview success stories have never been a paid coaching client. Many of them literally just got better by watching the free stuff. So you can too, but if you want to fast track your recovery, really consider the group program. And if you want to do a one-on-one -on -one call, I'm booked out for much of the rest of this year. Um, I do get cancellations once in a while, but not many. So instead of waiting perhaps months to get the same information you can get in the group, just jump in the group. You will get direct access with me. 
Anyway, enough of the sales pitch. Love you guys and gals. I know you can get well. Don't be discouraged by the obstacles on this journey. Know that you can get over them, around them, under them. And uh, we'll see you on the other side. Love you. Take care.